Welcome everyone. It's your boy JB in the place to be and today's topic of discussion is going to be about the traffic ID, right? But before we begin, got a couple of announcements. A couple of weeks ago I hit 500 subs. Very excited about that. Uh, so that gave me access to the community tab. So look for announcements there plus additional information. Uh, plus, at the end of the month, uh, we're going to start doing live streams, okay? You guys have so many questions uh, in the comment section, and I think it would be to everyone's benefit if everyone gets to sit in, yeah, if everyone gets to sit in on these answers, maybe we can have a back and forth discussion. What is the traffic ID, right? So the traffic ID goes by a few names, depending on the manufacturer or the technician. Okay, it really depends on what we feel most comfortable calling something. Okay, um, I'm sure you've heard of doohickeys, gadgets, gadgets, Johnson rods, that whole thing. Um, you know, these sort of terms can be used to identify a number of things. And in my team, on my team, in my department, right, uh, we refer to the traffic ID as the traffic ID. Uh, it goes by uh, live fiber detector. Um, or fiber optic, optical fiber identifier, right? So that clues us in on what this thing actually does. So the traffic ID operates in the same sense as um, tone operators do, right? Uh, old school telephone technicians, in order to identify a set of lines inside of a rat's nest of... Um, of just telephone, telephone cord, right? What they would do is on the far end, right? They put tone on that line. They put a searchable, findable frequency on the line at the opposite end. And then they would go to where this ball of confusion is, right? The, it, <laughs> they would then try to sort out and find which line this is by connecting their device to multiple lines and seeing if a sound is generated. So how does it do it, right? What's all inside of this thing? Inside of the traffic ID is a set of photodiodes and a clamping mechanism, okay? That's what it does. There's also batteries and circuitry. So yeah, inside, a set of photodiodes are able to determine not just uh, whether there's light present, but it can tell you the direction of traffic, right? It can also tell you if tone is present and it can tell you the uh, level of traffic, okay? It can tell you these three things, all right? It doesn't tell you uh, the nature of the information on the fiber. It just tells you whether it's active or not. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to demonstrate is how the clamping mechanism works, right? I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, hey, if you bend glass, it's going to break. Not so much, right? Not so much is the case. Everything has a threshold of abuse. <laughs> threshold. Of, everything has a point it'll bend to before it breaks. All right. So right here, we can see the OTDR my optical power meter is always on but right here i just turned on my vfl again we're going to illustrate the bending right light should come up out of this connector head and it should be a red light okay and turned out one set of lights now i gotta go do the other one mm. do you see the blinking right so we see light is not coming out of the side of the, uh, oh, well, yeah, here it is right here. So we can see that as we bend this uh, three millimeter uh, jumper on my launch kit, we can see that if you bend it, light does find its way outside of the fiber. If this thing was in active use, uh, you would see a slope, a, a really big drop off on your OTDR scan. And I'm turn the light down just a little bit more just to highlight it again and greater definition that if you bend the fiber, light will come out of it, okay? So that's one side of the clamping mechanism, right? Fiber bends, light comes out. 
on the trace, it would look like loss. Okay. All right, so now that we've established that if you put a bend on fiber, light does come out the side of it, okay? We've covered the clamping mechanism, right? That's a, the chief functionality of any traffic identifier, right? So now we're gonna move on to what does it actually look for? The traffic ID looks for modulated light, okay? It looks for modulated light, and it can even pick up ambient light. Ambient light is light that, light that just fills a room, or maybe light coming out of the sun or whatever, right? It's, it's light with no purpose, right? <laughs> it's just light, man. Modulated light is light that is set to carry information, light that is carrying information, right? Okay, so signal direction and traffic direction all that means is that it can tell you what side the light is coming in the fiber and what side it's going out. At the top of every traffic ID, just above the clamping mechanism or even below it, right? Just uh, opposite the bend of the fiber, there's photodiodes and they come in sets of two. This is how when the light is leaving the fiber, right? When the light is leaving the fiber, the circuitry can determine what the light level was before the bend and what the light is after the bend, okay? And we've already established that once a fiber is bent, the intensity of light is lowered, right? So one photodiode would be registering a signal strength stronger than the other, okay? So that is how it's able to determine what side the light came in on, which will be the stronger side, and what side it's going out on, which will be the lower side. There you go. All right. So just to recap, we've uh, gone over the clamping mechanism, okay, that it bends the fiber, that puts a controlled macro bend on. We've discussed uh, what information is, optical information is, light information, okay. And we've discussed the, uh, how traffic is registered, such as what is the signal direction, okay? Where is it coming from and where is it going, right? Where is it supposed to go, right? <laughs> so now we have enough information to comprehend what the optical tone is, right? Now, if you look at any spectral, uh, any spectral, uh, graph, any graph that will tell you the different frequencies of light, you'll notice that it's measured in nanometers, right? The traffic ID looks for information, not just in uh, nanometers, where it can tell you there is information present or the absence of information. It can give you an audible tone, right? These tones are measured in uh, 870 hertz, thousand hertz one kilohertz and two kilohertz right so uh, if you look at the face of my traffic id you will see that all these uh these different frequencies they're registered here and when tone is indicated like once it finds tone it highlights the appropriate uh diode here okay it's just that simple <laughs> it's just that simple. Whatever tone you're looking for, if you set it correctly, and if you have the correct fiber, it'll register it. But if you don't, it won't. Okay? All right. All right, so I'm about to open this vault. I'm going to try to find my fiber inside of this case. Inside of this case, there is a 96 count, a 48 count, and I think another 48 count. I'm not sure, I shot this like a, a while ago. <laughs> but, gonna open this case and try to find it, okay?
yeah so i guess i was trying to illustrate that this is mid sheath fiber and we only have six fibers spliced so mid sheath means that uh the fiber was segmented well it really wasn't segmented the fiber was cut into and the ribbons were exposed right but they weren't cut okay you can actually cut into a fiber without cutting it in half okay so right here putting the clamp down I see traffic okay I see traffic I don't see light though well yeah I see traffic I don't see tone you didn't see the tone light uh, kick on we were putting tone at 2 kilohertz all right okay this ribbon is dead and if you bend the opposite side you can see that yes it indeed is dead okay this one's dead too okay i put a slight bend on things just to just to be absolutely certain just to be absolutely certain of the direction that my uh meter is going to read in now we're going to try it again okay lots of trial and error here but I'm pretty sure it is this fiber, right? Yeah, it is. And here we are. We have traffic and tone. Okay, do you see that? All right. And then I end up breaking this fiber. I, I replaced it. I repaired it. Okay. There was no live customers on this uh, circuit, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing we haven't discussed thus far is the attachments, the different heads uh, a traffic ID typically come with, right? And in this image here, we can see that it comes with a 250 chuck, uh, 250 microns, 250 microns, uh, a 900 micron truck, and we also have a three millimeter chuck, okay? And then there you go, right? You use the appropriate chuck for the appropriate fiber, okay? You wouldn't be able to register anything on the 250 chuck if you were trying to check traffic on the three millimeter uh, jumper cord there. It wouldn't register anything. It wouldn't register, what? Yeah, it wouldn't register anything, okay? It would register some light on the 900 uh, jumper in the middle but your findings wouldn't be accurate and you know what for the most part uh, do not rely on how precise these things are okay nobody sends their traffic ID out for uh, cleaning right and even if you could clean it are you cleaning it correctly probably not right probably not no matter how hard you try but it will forever be useful in telling you whether there's traffic present or there isn't, whether there's tone present or there isn't, okay? So there you have it. Uh, that's the traffic ID. It is not a complex piece of equipment. Very useful, not complex, okay? If you like what you saw, hit that like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends and fellow technicians, okay? Let's grow our skill sets together. Okay, let's be better text together. All right. Um, yeah, and if you want to fund this channel, maybe allow me to get high resolution equipment uh, because I've just been having a just just a crap time with some of this stuff, man. Um, go ahead and hit the cash app. Maybe buy me a coffee. Other than that, you guys have a nice one. And thanks again. All right. Questions and comments in the comment section. All right. You guys take care. Peace.